All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of 20 minus four. So to solve this, well, I'm gonna first rewrite two to the power of 20 here as two to the power of 10 times two. So this is equal to two to the power of 10 times two minus four, sorry. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So two to the power of 10 times two, I can rewrite as two to the power of 10 to the power of two. Now four, I can rewrite as two squared. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is two to the power of 10 and b is two. So I have two to the power of 10 plus two times two to the power of 10 minus two. Now two to the power of 10, two to the power of 10 is 1024. So I have 1024 plus two times 1024 minus two. 1024 plus two is 1026 times 1024 minus two is 1022. So now we have 1026 times 1022. Well, if we try to multiply these terms as is, it's gonna be, it's gonna take really long and it's gonna be really difficult and very easy to make mistakes. So an easier way to multiply these two is to break them down. So 1026, we can rewrite as 1000 plus 26 and 1022, we can write as 1000 plus 22. Now, all we have to do to get our answer is distribute. So we're gonna first start 1000 and we're gonna distribute this to 1022. So now I have 1000 squared because 1000 times 1000, 1000 squared plus 1000 times 22 plus, now I'm gonna distribute the 26. So now I have 26 times 1000 and finally plus 26 times 22. Now, it's much simpler to solve as you can see. So 1000 squared, that's gonna be 1 million. And 1000 times 22, that's 22,000. Uh, 1000 times 26, that's 26,000. And 26 times 22, that's 572. So now to add all these up, well, 1 million plus 22,000 plus 26,000, that's 1,048,000. And we have 572 at the end. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of x plus four to the power of x plus eight to the power of x is equal to 39. So to solve this, I'm gonna first rewrite this as two to the power of x plus two squared to the power of x plus two to the power of three to the power of x is equal to 39. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So two to the power of two to the power of x, I can rewrite as two to the power of x to the power of two, and two to the power of three to the power of x, I can rewrite as two to the power of x to the power of three. Now I'm going to let two to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I have y plus y squared plus y to the power of three is equal to 39. Now I'm going to subtract 39 on both sides. So these two cancel out and now I have y to the power of three plus y to the power of two plus y minus 39 is equal to zero. Now I'm going to rewrite y squared here as negative three y squared plus four y squared. So I have this plus y minus 39 is equal to zero. Now from y to the power of three minus three y squared, I can factor out y squared. So I have y squared times y minus three. So 
So now I'm going to add 4y squared and I'm going to rewrite y here as negative 12y plus 13y. So now from here, I have y squared times y minus 3 plus from 4y, my 4y squared minus 12y, I can factor out 4y. So I have 4y times y minus 3 plus 13 times y minus 3. This is equal to 0. So now if I factor out y minus 3, I get y minus 3 times y squared plus 4y plus 13 is equal to 0. So now this gives me, oops, sorry. So now this gives me two equations. I have y minus 3 is equal to 0, meaning y is equal to 3. And I have y squared plus 4y plus 13 equals 0. So to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b, so negative 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared. So 4 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1 times c, which is 13. And if you notice, this is actually going to be 16 minus 52 which is negative 36, and you can't take the square root of a negative number, so this is wrong, and my only solution for y is 3. Now remember how we let 2 to the power of x equal y, meaning 2 to the power of x equals 3. So now to solve this, I'm going to take the log on both sides, and this is the same thing as x times log 2 is equal to log 3, meaning x is equal to log 3 over log 2. All right, so in this problem, I have 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 1. So I obviously want to find the value of x for this problem. So for my solution, I first start with 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 1. And now... If I have something in the form x to the power of 0, right? Well, any, any number to the power of 0 is simply 1. So we know we see 1 here, and 1 is the same thing as a number to the power of 0. So I'm going to rewrite 1 as 10 to the power of 0. So now I have 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 10 to the power of 0, because 10 to the power of 0 is the same thing as 1. And the reason I did this is so that these two bases here are the same. Now, as you see, they're both 10. So now I have 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 10 to the power of 0. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. Meaning over here, because both of our bases are the same, they both are 10, our exponents are going to be equal to each other as well. Meaning 9 minus x squared, that's going to be equal to 0. So I have 9 minus x squared is equal to 0. Now, as you see, we have a simple equation to solve. So to solve this equation, I'm going to add x squared on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and then I have x squared is equal to 9. Now, I'm going to take the square root on both sides, so I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of 9. And the square root of x squared, that's x. The square root of 9, this can be positive or negative 3. So my two solutions for x are x equals 3 and x equals negative 3. So now, I actually have another solution. So again, I have... 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 1. And this time I'm actually going to take the log on both sides. So I have log of 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to log 1. So now log of 1, that's 0. So I have log 10 to the power of 9 minus x squared is equal to 0. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, it's the same thing as b times log a. So in this case, I have 9 minus x squared times log 10 is equal to 0. Now log 10, this is simply 0. Or sorry, this is simply 1. 
So now I have nine minus x squared times one, which is simply nine minus x squared is equal to zero. And again, I'm back to where I started. Nine minus x squared equals zero, so x is equal to three or negative three. So that is my second solution. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation nine to the power of x is equal to 36. So to solve this equation, I'm gonna first start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of nine to the power of x is equal to log of 36. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this turns into b times log a. In this case, I have log nine to the power of x and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log nine is equal to log 36. And from here, I can divide both sides by log nine. So these two cancel out and I get x is equal to log 36 over log nine. Now I'm gonna rewrite log 36 as log of nine times four. So I did this because I can use the property log of a times b is equal to log a plus log b. This case this turns into log nine plus log four, and I have this over log nine. So now this is equal to log nine over log nine plus log four over log nine, which is equal to one plus log of two squared over log of three squared. And if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move this exponent to b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. In this case, I can move two to the front over here, two to the front over here, so I get x is equal to one plus two times log two over two times log three. From here, I can cancel out these two twos. So I get x equals one plus log two over log three. Now log two is equal to 0 0.3010 and log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771 so if i divide these two i get x equals 1 plus 0 0.6309 meaning x is equal to 1.6309 so this is my answer